We like 16, like we old, like we grown, like we not grown, but you know, you know how to wipe your ass. Like you just letting it slide down at the party while you dancing. Like was she really like throwing it back that hard that the doodle -doo came out? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like I was confused. I had so many questions, but every time I asked him a question, he would deny that it was him. Hey beauties, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? Did you check that website out yet? Okay. So this takes place, y'all, in my teen days, y'all. Y'all know I told y'all I basically grew up in Millbrook Projects, right? I was with Baby Z and all of them. I was spending the night over there all the time, every day, every weekend. I was over there. Anytime I got a chance to go to Baby Z house, I was going over there because the projects was lit. We could always go outside, play in the playground. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't really do much on Walton when we was living there because, you know, it ain't have no playground. We couldn't really... You get the drift. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Now, these days, y'all, we used to party hard. We used to party hard. Now, my cousin, which is Baby D brother, I think we named him Calvin in the old video. My cousin Calvin, y'all, I just want to say we are so sorry, Calvin. We apologize. All of our life, we used to tease Calvin and call him Doodle Boy. <laughs> we thought he was shit, okay? And it wasn't even him. <laughs> let, me, let me tell y'all what be going down in a project, y'all. Don't act like y'all don't all have that one shitty friend. Exiting the chat. When y'all growing up. And I don't mean shitty as in that. I mean person that doodle on themselves until they 18. For real? Yeah, let's, let, let's get into it. We always used to chill. <laughs> this is so funny. We always used to chill in my aunt's, in my aunt's house, right? <laughs> so, you know, my aunt got baby D, she got Calvin, and she got another son, which is her younger son. So her younger son, he used to tell his friends, you know, come down. All, all they friends used to just come in whenever they, they could, okay? So the younger son, let's just name him, um, what are we going to name my little cousin? We just going to name him Rock, because I don't know what else to name him. I'm looking at a rock. So, um, yeah, so my little cousin Rock, he had this friend, right? We just going to call him Doodle. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is not funny. So, my younger cousin Rock, he had this friend named Doodle, feel me? So, Doodle lived upstairs, feel me? But my aunt and Doodle mom, they was real good friends to the point where I would go up there and his mom basically, like, she would call me her guard daughter and stuff like that. And, like, I'm not going to lie, y'all. They house had mad roaches. <laughs> Like, no, it's not funny. Like, I remember one day I had went up there. I'm just trying to give y'all a backstory so y'all so y'all get the gist of y'all know. One day I went up there. My aunt told me, yo, go ask the mother, could I get a cup of sugar? So I went up there or whatever. And I goes in her kitchen. And I'm waiting for her to give me this sugar. And I'm looking. It's dishes piled up everywhere. It's like, you know how you frying chicken and you put your flour in the bowl? It's mad roaches in the chicken, in the um flower bowl. Like, you just see them moving around all white and covered in flour. I'm just like, ew. But at the time, I'm like 14, 15. So, I'm just minding my business. But I'm noticing, like, your house is dirty. You got mad people in your house. Your house smell like straight urine and doodle. Like, it was just, mm -mm, it was just wasn't given. So, she gives me the flour. I mean, she gives me the sugar or whatever. And I'm looking in the sugar and I'm like, what is that? Is that a roach coil in there? So, y'all, she puts it in the cup that my aunt sent. Y'all, I go to the incinerator when I leave her house and I pour the sugar out. Because my aunt was using the sugar because she was making some stuffed shells. And she be adding, like, sugar into her meat and stuff. Oh, my God. Her stuffed shells is the best. But she be adding sugar into her meat and stuff. So, I pour the sugar out in the incinerator and I brought my aunt back the empty cup. And I'm telling my aunt, I'm like, yeah, they didn't have it. 
they didn't have she didn't have no sugar we probably had to go to the store and get it because like yeah so then she sent me to the store to get it long story short i lied and threw the sugar out because like i'm not eating them stuffed shells if that sugar came from her house like why are you telling us to borrow stuff? no that's nasty so that happened right so boom one day we chilling downstairs so my cousin brock he invited his friends doodle and some other friends so now everybody downstairs rocking the room with his friends they playing the game mind you my older cousin and Calvin he in the room as well feel me we all go in the room or whatever like me baby D you know some of her friends we go in the room to mess with the boys like that's what we do we gonna beat y'all up we gonna mess with y'all so we go in the room to mess with the boys and y'all we open the door it smells like straight doodle so we like yo what is that smell like ill so we automatically start bullying calvin which is maybe the older brother so we start bullying him telling him like oh you need to wash up because you you stink like i know that's you you smell like dookie like what's up with you big dookie stinking ass nigga get in the tub like we just going off on him so then he started beating us up like one thing about calvin yeah he was not playing so he was like getting mad like stop calling me that stop doing this so he start beating us up and stuff like that and i'm like bro you smell like doodle -doo. like every time you swing i smell doodle -doo, that i smell doodle -doo. mind you rock and his friends they sitting on the bed and they laughing they not you know but one friend he got the face where he just like this you can tell he real uncomfortable and he just be looking like this every time he come around once somebody mentioned it smell like doodle -doo, he used to be like so we just beating up Calvin, Calvin beating us up or whatever. My aunt run in the room. She basically tell us, get out, leave the boys alone. And then she like, hold on, why I smell like doodle -doo in here? <laughs> Who smell like doodle? Uh uh, Calvin, go get in the shower. So Calvin, like, my, it ain't even me. Like, what are you talking about? I'm 18. I'm not doodling on myself. You tripping, you tripping, you tripping. So we, like, no, Calvin, it is you. Because when you was young, you used to doodle. -doo. Like, what are you talking about? He, like, what are you talking about? I was like seven years old. That was the last time. We, like, no, you got a history of doodling, big dookie stinking. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just bullying him. But, like, I kind of feel bad now. But I didn't feel bad at the time because, like, why are you walking around smelling like shit? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Fast forward to the next time. So now at this time, y'all, baby D, she got into a scuffle with somebody. Not even a scuffle. They got into, to, you know? So, you know, after a fight, everybody on the couch, everybody talking about the fight, what they did, how they did it, you know, different point of views, different standpoints. So everybody piled into my aunt living room. We all sitting there. We on the, sitting in a circle on the couches. We talking, we talking. Mind you, doodle there, everybody there. So we talking, everything good. My aunt come out the room. My aunt talking. My aunt goes by the door by where doodle was sitting at the edge of the couch and my aunt is like yo it smell like shit like what is that smell it smell like shit it smell like shit mind you it's mad people there so after like 15 minutes my aunt just keeps saying it like why do it smell like doodle -doo? like what's going on like uh-uh y'all all need to get up and get up out of my house y'all all need to get up and get up out of my house y'all everybody got up and they was leaving the house mind you i'm spending the night there so i was still sitting there rock still sitting there his friends is leaving everybody friends is leaving at the same time it's like a line going out the door i say it's about nine other people feel me so as the line is going out the door, y'all, everybody leave it. I just see something on the floor. It's like brown a little bit, but it's like it's starting to have a line, like a streak. So we leave, they leave, and I'm noticing people actually stepping on it because they leaving the crib. So it's like shrieking the floor and stuff like that. But we don't know what it is yet. So we not, you know what I'm saying? We just know that it smells like doo-doo. Period. We trying to see if the dog doodle because at the time she had two dogs. So we like, did the dogs doodle around the house? No, they train. They don't doodle in the house. So what is the smell? So everybody leave. My aunt goes to lock the front door. She looked down. So my aunt like, ah ah. Yo, my aunt is so dramatic. Like y'all have to be there. She's like, ah ah. Is that shit on my floor? Hold up. Wait a minute. So now, baby D, she starts zooming it into it. I start going over there. So we all look at each other, we bust out laughing. We like, yo, who doodle on the floor, y'all? So all of our head turn, we look at Calvin. Calvin like, bro, stop playing with me. Like, stop playing with me. Like, he know we always had the doodle jokes on him because, yeah. But he like, yo, stop playing with me. Like, did you see me walk out that door? How how would that happen? She like, no, some shit fell out of somebody's pants. Who was it? So now at this time, y'all, we being detectives. We all putting our brains together. We trying to figure out. Everybody got on jeans. Like, it's dead of winter. How will we know? 
did it fall out of my pants leg? Did anybody have on sweats? Now we just asking mad questions because it do not make sense to us. Like we just like, who is the doodle from? Who is the doodle from? That night we never d discovered who the doodle from, where it's from. Like we never discovered. We didn't even tell nobody about the doodle. We were just like, cool. It was doodle. It's too much. It was mostly a lot of rock friends in the house. <laughs> So my aunt made rock clean up the shit, bop the whole house and all types of stuff. So now that's good. Moving on to the next incident, y'all. So y'all know my aunt, she is a lesbian, y'all. So she was dating the, this girl at the time. We gonna call her Wendy. So she was dating this girl at the time. The girl was a stud, feel me? But she was a thick stud. Like, if you take the stud clothes off of her, she'll be a thick mamas with a bald head because she cut her head off wasn't bald but it was like kind of like mine a little bit shorter because i got my head out my aunt throwing a party in her house or whatever everybody friends coming out everybody coming you know i'm gonna be there so i'm there sarah there a whole bunch of people there y'all my aunt girlfriend she come out the room mind you she's a stud she says she don't like men she don't do none of the men stuff. Y'all, y'all know that song, um... Girl, turn me up and let me come to your speakers <laughs> Cause baby girl, this is the music for love. And then when that, when that bass dropped, that boom, boom. Y'all, why did my aunt girlfriend come out there for music of love, whining her hips like this? Imagine a stud with a baggy, baggy clothes on, a belt right here, with a fitted cap on grinding like this, lifting up her shirt. Just some can you just imagine it? <laughs> because you had to be there. So she just grinding. She like, oh, she feeling the music. She's singing. So my aunt, my aunt is dancing with her, right? So you know, my aunt is the film. So my aunt is like, you know, getting into it with the shoulders, you know, doing this. But she my aunt keep looking back, like, hold on, like what's going on? So my aunt go to turn around and the girl is turning her butt on my aunt and she trying to grind on my aunt like this. So my aunt like Am I the man or you the man? That's really clocky. So now they basically start arguing at the party. Everybody looking like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? So the girl, she just keep grinding her little hips to the music. So then some guy get behind her, start dancing with her. She just start going in on him. She was breaking him down. She was like, I'm like, we were shocked. We were shocked. But I didn't like that girl at all. And I'm happy that her and my aunt finally broke up because we found out that girl was not gay at all she like more th than a little bit because there's no way you over here grinding your hips better than anybody in the party she got the sports bra because now she done pulled the big white tee up and now the sports bra showing and the hips moving and she all thick and shit she got the boxes and then she start doing the twerk shit throwing the hat like i was sitting there like ain't no way so in the midst of her doing this, every people still coming into the party. People still pouring into the party. One of the people that comes to the party is Doodle, y'all. So the party's still going on. The party going on for about a good another 45 minutes, I would say. After about 45 minutes, everybody dancing. Now, you know, that's when the 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 um the turkey music come on. That's when the turkey music come on. And now I know y'all sitting here thinking, like, why is your aunt sitting here having a party with kids and teenagers. Clock that team. Clock that team. And project. That's how it would be in a project, y'all. My aunt would have the party or baby T would have the party. And my aunt and her grown friends would party in their room to the same music we listening to. But just keep the door open. And the grown-ups would be in there. And then the kids would be out there. Well, not kids, but, you know, teens and stuff like that. But this day, my aunt was out there because her girlfriend kept going in the living room, grinding her hips. And all the guys was grabbing on her and she was liking it and my aunt was confused like what are you doing we got all these dildos hanging from the wall lord jesus and you over here like yeah like don't go in my aunt room i learned that as a little girl don't go in my arm you going and you see all types of dildos hanging from the wall you like what the fuck is this a sex room no no like crazy so, <laughs> all of this happened, everybody partying, about 45 minutes passed, party still lit. Now, that, that twerk music come on, you know, I'm like, I'm like a free throw, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm, 
Turn up, motherfucking. Mm -mm. Bounce that ass, 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 bounce that ass. Bounce that ass. Y'all in the party with me? Bounce that ass, bounce that ass. I'm putting y'all in the scene where I was, so we like this. I'ma throw this money on the mm mm. You just keep on dancing on the free code. I should back, put your hands on your knees, ho. Yeah, so we doing all that. So as we doing all that, you know that's when the guys, they friends start holding them from the back so they could do like this, you know, like that on the girl. So they doing all of that. And while everybody shaking it, everybody getting crazy, yo, the party is so turned up. Like, I know the neighbors downstairs called the cops because they definitely showed up. But listen, the party is so turned up. Everybody like, eh, 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 eh. you know, I'm in the middle like. I know that's right. You know, I'm I'm getting it, getting it. In. So my aunt come out there to look for her girlfriend one last time, and my aunt starts saying, "Why do my living room smell like shit? Why do my living room smell like shit? No, we gotta do a smell check." She starts smelling people underarm. She like lift your shirt up. Uh uh, you musty. You gotta go. Let me see. Uh uh, you musty. Cause you know when you start twerking and stuff, that real must come out. If you got that stink booty ear, that booty ear start coming out. If you got them underarm, everything start coming out, y'all. So my aunt, she trying to get to the nitty gritty of it. She trying to get some nitty gritty of it. So we all just smelling people like, who is it that smell like shit? Who is it that smell like shit? So now at this time, y'all, Doodle is dancing on this girl. Now this girl, I know her because like my father used to date her aunt. And I used to live in Delaware with them for a while. But the girl was there, so I knew her. So she was dancing on Doodle. She was going stupid on Doodle. When I tell you sweat drenching everywhere on their body, she was going stupid on Doodle. So while as they dancing, they just getting it in. The girl, she just lets out a scream. So we all like, what's going on? So the girl, she's just like, ah! So we trying to figure out what's going on. So now we thinking it's a fight. So we cut the lights on real quick. We trying to figure it out. Everybody's like dispersing. They trying to find the girl, figure out what's going on. So we cut the lights on we try to find the girl we run over there we get to where the girl is and y'all she is pointing at a glob of doodle literally on the floor all smeared because everybody was stepping on it at the party dancing all types of stuff y'all we sitting there like what the fuck who keeps shitting mind you calvin was not even there this day so we like we can't tease calvin about it we can't make jokes about calvin about it somebody is really in here sh and we don't know who it is so we really trying to figure it out so now at this time we trying to go around to everybody we trying to figure it out most of the party is leaving like everybody's leaving they like bro that's nasty who shit in the party like who would do that i noticed that doodle he just against the window like this just looking around again with the little with the little look he just looking around with the little look so you know the hood dudes is upstairs they all in the party so the hood dudes is there and they they sit in here and they start teasing doodle so the hood, the hood dudes that you know the ones who mainly be downstairs, the hood, the hood dudes, the Millbrook hood dudes. So they basically down, they upstairs or whatever, and they basically teasing Doodle and they saying you shit on the floor. This was you. You always shit somewhere. You be smelling like straight Dookie. That's crazy. The little bit of people who is left in the party, we all laughing. Like we all laughing. Feel me? So Doodle, he tried to fight one of the boys because he like, y'all tripping, that wasn't me. Like, you tripping, da 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 So he goes to leave. Like, he say, I'm leaving. Like, I'm not dealing with this. So he goes to leave. As he's going to leave, y'all, it's just a, a, like, you know somebody walk past and you just smell? Bro, just shit. Like, soon as he like, just straight shit. Bitch, is you crazy? I'm sitting there like, ain't no way he's my uh-uh. I know that ain't him. I know that ain't him. I know that ain't him. So now, mind you, he got on all white Nikes, y'all. He got on all white Nikes. On the back of his Nikes, when he going to leave, we see like the little doodle mark, like right on his Nike. Like, right on the, like the tip, I guess, where it fell out his pants or whatever. And we just like, oh my God. So this whole time, it was doodle. That was doodling. Calling the police. Are you serious? 
that's really how we found out that it was Doodle who was really doing all of this, feel me? Now that we got all of that out the way, so after that situation, Doodle denied it. He went around telling everybody that was not him, he do not do that, he do not smell like that, that was not him, that Doodle. Nobody would believe him, they would always tease him. He basically went on about his life regularly. My aunt didn't say nothing to him, nobody really said nothing to him because nobody was really trying to hurt his feelings because at the time we were still teenagers. So we were just trying to figure out why is you doodling and we like 16 like we old like we grown like we not grown but you know you know how to wipe your ass like you just letting it slide down at the party while you dancing like was she really like throwing it back that hard that the doodle came out <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> like, I was confused. I had so many questions, but every time I would ask him a question, he would deny that it was him. It wasn't him. The worst part about this whole experience, y'all, Doodle had the biggest crush on me. Shut the fuck up. Doodle had the biggest crush on me, and I was mad. I was too mad. I was really mad because I'm like, you, not only you shitting on yourself, but then you got the nerve to have a crush on me? Like, what am I supposed to do? We supposed to shit together like what we supposed to do. So, Doodle, he kept flirting or whatever. He would come downstairs to chill with Rock, and then he would come find his way in my face, talking like, yeah, you know, you're so cute. Yeah, we should do this. We should do that. Da, da, da. And I would just, I wasn't trying to be mean and say, no, you a shitty ass little nigga. Get out of my face. So, I would just say little stuff like, no, it's okay. I got a boyfriend because at the time, I was messing with his little friend. Feel me? Like, I ain't do nothing with the boy, but that was the boy I was telling y'all about that we used to be kissing in the playground and stuff, and he used to be pushing me on the swings. Yeah, and then I had got caught cheating because I was really in a relationship with the girl, and then the girl and the boy both caught me in Millbrook. Yeah, that was a story time. But yeah, I'm basically messing with your friend. Like, what are you talking about? So he would still try to talk to me, come down here and talk to me, and I would. And then after a while, I just started saying it like, "You're you're shitty. Like you, you can't talk to me." Again, he would still deny it. So one day he came down there, whatever. You could tell his mother just got her check or her taxes or something. Because he was too fly. He was too fly, feel me? Mind you, him and Calvin favored each other a lot. Like, the, the way they was fat and stuff and bald and stuff. Like, they, they favored each other a lot. So we used to call them brothers and stuff. So they used to fight each other. Because Calvin used to be like, that's not my brother. He shitty. That's not my brother. He shitty. And we used to be like, y'all both shitty. Cause da, da, da. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We were little bullies when we was young. Because, like, Calvin... We always bullied the older cousins, though. The ones that was older than us, not the younger one. So, we... Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We did bully Trout, too. Yeah, because, like, what? Like, who you think you is? Trout thought he was Spider-Man. I used to smack him in the back of his head, all that. Like, we used to really jump Trout. Like, Trout was bad. Like, he could beat us all. And he was only, like, three. Like, he was, like, giving it to us. That was a bad boy. And then Calvin, we just wanted to bully him because, like, yeah, why not? Like, you look just like Doodle. So, like, you... You could pass with Doodle, that's your brother. You know what I'm saying? On my, on my soul, on my life. Like, so all this happened, whatever. He comes down, he gets real fly this day. I don't know why he got real fly. I don't know what he was thinking in his head. I don't know if he thought he was going to get a chance. But at the time, the, the boy that I was dating, he was there too. So the boy, he's there or whatever. And he's talking to me or whatever. And Doodle come in, whatever. He make his little smart remarks. Because when, after I... Okay, so after I friend zoned him a bunch of times, he used to come at me like, oh, bitch, nobody wants you anyway. Oh, bitch, da 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 da. Oh, this, that, and the third. So when he started coming at me, that gave me free leeway to, oh, now I'm finna come at you, shitty draws. So now I'm calling him all types of names like, you're shitty. Like, why is you even here? You're shitty. You're shitty. So he came down here that day or whatever. Him and my cousin is playing a game. I don't know what happened. I don't know what transpired. But I know he ran out the house. He was in the back of the house. He ran out the front door. We couldn't figure out why. We go in my cousin's room. Y'all, this boy done shit on my cousin's bed. A bullshit? A bullshit? Swear to God, fresh sheets and all of that. So if you didn't think that was him at the party, if you didn't think that was him that did that on the couch, now you know specifically that that is him that be doodling everywhere because you just seen it with your own eyes. Now it's on the bed. It's on your sheets. Now you know he is doodly. Now you know what's going on. Feel me? No, it ain't in there, y'all. It ain't in there. He even denied that. He tried to tell us that was not his doodle on the thing. That doodle been on there before he was there. You're a liar! Liar! 
Liar! You're a liar! That was not him. He did not do that. Fast forward, but summertime comes, y'all. We all mobs to the pool. Now, you know, back then in Millbrook, when it was time to go to the pool, we was mobbing. So, we all go to the pool. Is Everybody's lit. We all mobbed there. So, we get to the pool. We playing. Everything good. Everything copacetic. Mind you, Sarah is there. Sarah, she got her little boo in the pool, whatever. They over there thinking they husband and wife in the pool. Talking about, ooh, put me on your back. Ooh, dump me. Dunk me. Because, you know, if you dunk somebody, you like them type shit, right? For real? Mm -hmm. So all of this is happening. So we in the pool or whatever. And I guess Doodle thought, oh, he was clean. So he was going to come over and he was going to dunk me. So Doodle just kept dunking me and dunking me. And I don't know, but even through the chlorine, I smelled Doodle, bro. I smelled him. So I was like, yo, I just can't do this. Like, this boy smell like shit. But I'm not trying to embarrass in front of the whole pool. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he keep dunking me. He keep dunking me. He keep chasing me. He keep chasing me. I'm just not letting him. So he dunked me for the final time. I finally get away from him. Y'all, I say about 15 minutes past. 15 good minutes, y'all. Why do the whistle start blowing? Mind you, it's nowhere near the pool session. We only been in here for about an hour. All the lifeguards start blowing the whistle. They like, everybody at the pool. Everybody at the pool. So now everybody start jumping out the pool. We try to figure out why we ask everybody the people don't know some people don't know so then they finally make an announcement somebody doodle in the pool i know you fucking lying it was a doodle turd a big giant doodle turd floating around in the pool and where was that doodle turd at it was right there by where homeboy doodle got out the pool so now at this time y'all i put it in my head he got a doodle problem i almost called the cops <laughs> something ain't right he got a doodle, because I know if I need a doodle, I'm going to go to the toilet. He just letting it flow in the pool everywhere. So we all get kicked out the pool. They tell us, you know, we can't come back for the day, come back tomorrow. I am mad as hell. I am mad as hell. Because even though doodle got out the pool right, then, right there where the doodle was floating, we don't really know if that was really him because we didn't see it with our own eyes. And it was hundreds of people in the pool that day. It was packed. It was literally to capacity, okay? So... I could only assume that it was him, but we don't know for sure, feel me? We don't know for sure. So, we mob at home or whatever. We like, damn, can't believe somebody doodled in the pool, da 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 Doodle come with the jokes like, Charisma, that was probably you when I was dunking you because you was clenching your butt cheeks real hard. Why people keep playing with me like, I really like... You feel me? <laughs> like... Not you trying to blame the doodle turd on me. I was going to this pool mad times and never doodle. And the one day we bring you, the whole pool get shut down. Nah, something ain't right. If you really say it, because he's saying that wasn't him who do. If you really saying that wasn't you who doodle, we going back to that same pool tomorrow. And if you doodle, if it's any doodle in there, I know you did it. I know you did it. So boom, plans go on. The next day, we go to the pool. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now I'll be playing in the pool. Everything good. Everything is copacetic. Y'all, I am not going to lie to you. Another doodle turd winded up in the dot game pool. And they winded up kicking everybody out the pool again. So y'all tell me if I'm tripping. I'm not tripping, right? That, that was doodle who, who been doodling this whole video, right? I'm not tripping, right? So our whole childhood, he was doing this. So after that, that confirmed to me everything that I needed to know. It confirmed to me everything that I needed to know. Then a couple days later, Doodle wound up getting in trouble by his mom. Him and his little brother wound up getting in trouble because they caught them in a staircase. I don't know what the hell they was doing with what girls. But the mom caught him and the mother was outside going in. You know if you live in the projects and your mother curse you out or beat you in front of the building. Everybody could look out their window. Everybody could hear it. My aunt only lived on the seventh floor. So we like, what? What's going on? Doodle mom is cursing him out. He's going, she's going in. You got the nerve to be in the staircase with your shitty ass you don't even know how to wipe yourself. You don't even know how to do this. If your own mother saying it, it's you. It's you. We assume right. We knew right. You done shit it so many times during the video. And we just we sitting here like, hold on. 
y'all all of this went on i will say in our teens so i would say probably from about the age of 13 to maybe about 16 and then i really stopped going over there because you know i wound up having prom getting pregnant having promise and all of that but then when i went back over there around the age when i was about 18 doodle was still doodling and then he didn't really stop doodling on himself until he turned about 20 so he hit me up I remember this video because he recently hit me up on Snapchat or whatever, and he was basically telling me about his life, that he doing real good, he moved out the state, he got his baby mother now, you know, they in love, they this, they that, they in the third, and I wanted to ask him so bad, do you still do to on yourself? But, you know, we grown now, so I'm assuming that he don't, but I could be wrong, but like, doodle, you was already a, a very doodly young man when we was young. Like, I don't know. You was very doodly. Like, what happened? You know what happened? I, 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 I don't know. And it's the fact that we would still sit there and we would still chill with you. Knowing that it was you, but we all delusional. No, we don't. You know what? Maybe we assume it. No, it was you doodling the whole time. You doodled in the party. You doodled and left it on the floor. You doodled in the pool twice. Like, you just got chunks of sh falling out for what? For who? For why? But yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I don't know what happened or why it happened. And then his little brother, his little brother got caught in the house. Cap, it was the other way around. The other little boy got caught giving the brother head. His little brother now is grown. You know who was messing with his little brother even after she found out the gay allegations? You know who was messing with the little brother? My little cousin, Leggings. The one who never take them leggings off. In a, in a, in a cousin's video. The my aunt had haters. The, yeah, she was messing with him. After she found out them gay allegations. He, the, he got him a baby mother and all that now. That's why the mother was beating him. Feel me? It goes down in the projects. It goes down in the projects. You might deal with a little shit. You might deal with a little hair. You might deal with a little gay activities. You just might deal with it. But yeah, anything could happen in Millbrook. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If y'all like this channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow all of my social medias. And up until then.